create API endpoints without writing a single line of code. Hey, I'm Eric, and one of new features in the Simple Object Designer is a way to expose data as API endpoints. Right now, you can go into web services, you can take a UI page and expose that as an endpoint. Quite often that has some some side effects. Uh, there might be actual UI code stuff, updating a fact box or in the background contacting CRM or updating things that makes the endpoint you create quite slow uh, and sometimes not working at all. You might run into issues where, you know, there's, oh, we need another field on the UI or we remove a field from a UI, but then suddenly your UI updates are impacting your web services. Um, so the solution to all this is to create API endpoints, which is a slightly different type of page than a normal page. But the only way you can do that, well, up until now anyway, is to write some code, some AL code. But with the simple object designer, we can actually do that for you. The app will write the code for you. And you can just point a click and you have an API endpoint. Let me show you, let me show you how that works. Here is my business central and I have installed the simple object designer and the object designer will do other things. You can see that I have also added a field uh, in a table and put that field on a page. Also added the field to a report. Um, but what we're going to focus on right now is actually to expose data as an API. So I select expose data as API and create a new one. And um, I select table 23, that's the vendor table. All endpoints must have, must have names and a caption. So uh, the simple object designer will say, okay, you select the vendor table. So we suggest that this is how the entity name should be and the caption. So there's like, there's a plural version for the list vendors and then uh, vendor for the, the, the single entity. It will always also tell you that this is actually the, the URL that this data will be exposed on as soon as you have published uh, your changes. But we need to select some fields first. So we'll select number, name, address, perhaps city, contact, dimension code one and two, uh, how about something with numbers in it? Um, so balance, net change, purchase perhaps, and let's get the address stuff completed with postcode and county. So those are fields. Uh, I could bulk select if I wanted to, but I don't want to at this point. That's it, I close this one. I close this one, come on, BZ. Uh, I close this one and I select publish. And would I like to publish to this environment? Yes, I do. Um, I could answer no, and then I will just get the app that was generated, get that downloaded. Um, so your customizations are now the deploying, check the deployment here. And this is the deployment and we can see I have done this. Call of time, I can press F5 to see that the deployment is still in progress of my changes. And I can keep pressing F5 and then at some point, very soon hopefully, this is actually gonna be done. Very exciting here. There we go, completed. So let me now go to Postman where I already pasted in the URL. That's the magic of videos. Uh, and we can do is try to call this one, sending request. Oops, sorry, let's actually go to this one. And we can see that now we have data out of our endpoint. So we selected number, name, address, one, two, city, contact, global dimension, balance, net chain, purchase, postcode, and county. We didn't select country. So we could go back and go back into this guy 
Let's say, oh, by the way, um, country region code, we need that also. So yes, that's done. So we change that, now we publish again. Same procedure. So this is publishing. And I have to be a bit more patient than I usually am here. And we can see that every time we publish, our changes are incremented by the version number of our, of our changes are incremented. Um, so that happens automatically. We still get everything downloaded. So all the versions are there. So we can, if we do work with the simple object designer on a sandbox, then we can take the app file that we have produced and just upload that manually to a production environment. Um, and again, this takes a few seconds, depending on the mood of the Microsoft server receiving it. Um, but hopefully we will be there anytime soon. So what is generated, I can, I can talk to that for a second, is that it, it's writing the code as if you were to ask me, hey, Eric, can you write me an API endpoint with these fields for the vendor table? What, as, what is being outputted and what can be downloaded as source code, now it's completed, from extension management afterwards is the exact same thing. Uh, so there's no, no limitation or cheating and you could take that and go into Visual Studio Code and continue working. So let's try this again. I'll send here from Postman. And we can see that now we have the country in our API endpoint also. So that's how you expose data as API endpoints with uh, the simple object designer. Uh, check it out in the link below and uh, let me know if you like it. Thanks.